Hello there guys, welcome to a brand new series. Um, in this series we are playing as Blackpool Football Club. Now, Blackpool or Blackpool, I don't even know if I said that right. Um, so what's happened is I actually managed to play a game beforehand because I was just super excited about doing it. So last match you can see here, Madeira's got two goals. Uh, that brings me on to the transfers. These are the two that I've brought in at the moment. Um, so I think we're waiting on Mike Duff at the minute. I think he's the one that we're waiting on. But to be honest with you, we actually have a really good team anyway. Um, so I'm quite looking forward to that. So uh, the team is this. I've obviously gone for the good old 4-1-3-2 formation with Madeira and Ormerod up front. Richie Wellens is well OP on this, which is fantastic. As you can see, we had a really good start against Huddersfield away. Big win that. Wigan are a massive club, so we'll we'll kind of see how we go here. Um, so let's get straight into this. Okay. Oh, one nil to Wigan already. <clears throat> It's always a disappointment, and we know how strong Wigan are in this game. We've played as Wigan. They're a team that definitely have the capabilities to go up. They have a really good squad. Definitely one of the stronger teams in this league, but at home, we should be doing better. I'd understand this away from home, but no, not not here. We need to turn this around, and quickly. A goal before our time would be nice. There we go, we've got it. Wonderful. Never know how you say his name. Jazz Cousin. I don't know how you say it. Uh, 6,000. That's not bad. I think that's full capacity here at the stadium. So that's really good. Um, and then we've got Birmingham on the 21st. Which, you know... Yeah, it'll be interesting to say the least. But we need to get the job done here first thing. So I don't know who to bring on because I was never a fan of, of uh, Graham Fenton. But I his stats look quite good and I've just noticed that they've only recently purchased him as well so Madeira with the goal there making it 2-1 uh, one more would be nice just to sort of put the nail in the coffin there it is let's start to think about conditioning the players Richie Wellins we've got Phil Clarkson for him as a good substitute Kieran Richardson on for uh, Simpson and we'll put Fenton on for Madeira because I think I want to give Fenton a bit of a go here oh shit that's not good. That was a straight red as well. How frustrating is that? Now, we do have Reed who is injured, so Reed can just come back in. Wow, even with 10 men, we've made that 4 1. This is oh, 5 1. Holy crap. That was a really good display. We'll appeal it just for the sake of appealing it. Absolutely delighted. I'm not surprised after that result. That's fantastic. Um, yeah, so it's League Cup, actually. I've just realised that. I don't know if to go for it or not. It's one of those where. I've I've also oh sorry I've also realised that I've put John Murphy up for a transfer list because his contract is um, up very very soon and he doesn't want to sign a new one, so I may as well get money now. He's worth 150 grand. There's a few people interested in him, um, and with the budget that we have, we just don't have enough money to do anything really. There we go. Tiverton Town for Mike Milligan. Get rid of him. What wage is he on? He's on a grand. Tiverton are going to get him. Strachan, right, we bought Grav Gavin Strachan. Now, my thinking there was to put him in as a defensive mid. But I actually don't know if he's going to do a better job at the minute. Um, he's there in case. I like O'Kane. I think, I think you know, he's all right for what he does, exactly what he says on the tin. Mike Duff has just accepted our offer. That is brilliant news. So we've got Mike Duff on the right He's going, so that'll give us a bit of money. I think, yeah, we've got no funds now at all. We're pretty much all checked out, um, which we kind of expected to be anyway. Um, we can take Parkinson off now and put Duff in that position. Um, it got Reed. I'm going to... Uh, do you know what? Let's keep this same team. Let's keep it. And let's see how we get on here. Right, let's go. You've got to bear in mind that Black, um, Birmingham are, I think, a couple of divisions above us. Are they 
the one division above us. They're not in the Premier League, are they? No, no, they're, no, no. They're in Division One, aren't they? Um, but again, it's another home game. Yeah, see, Madeira with the goal. I think it's just got to be a case of trying to use home advantage. And saying that, we get we um, concede a goal, which is really annoying. Um, but I, might, I think I probably will start to take a few people off now. Oh God. Um, yeah, look at that, Richie Wellens on fifty bloody percent, man. He's knackered. Okay, oh, as well. I'm going to take Madeira off, even though he's okay. I'll take Bullock off this time. I think what we're going to find is there's going to be a lot of tired players out there. And I'm not asked. You know, we we know we're not going to go far in this 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 cup. The worst thing would be extra time, which is what it's heading for now. Um, just I want one of us to get a goal. I'm not bothered who it is. I just don't want extra time. Extra time is the worst possible answer. Oh, somebody score! Oh, fuck. Now we're going to be knackered, and we'll probably end up getting beat as well. So it's like a double whammy. So we're also out of the cup, and we're all—all all my players are dead. Yeah. Come on. Ugh. Ugh. Knew it. I knew it would happen. Now we're completely knackered. Yeah. We're going to have to have a bit of a shuffle around there then for Peterborough away. I'm gutted about that. Genuinely thought we'd actually secure it. Um, how are we doing here? So he's gone to Tiverton. Right, here we go. Hull. For John Murphy, I'm gonna, I'm definitely accepting it. His contract's up in 0-2. Um, he's not a bad player. He just he just does not want to sign a new contract. And if we've got 150 grand coming our way, of course I'm going to take it. I might even then be able to put you know, 325 grand. It, his price has gone up. I missed out on Hugo as well, which I'm gutted. Oh, Dunwell. Dunwell was the other one I was looking at. Because then I can actually replace a striker with a striker. Mm. I'm going to have to have a little look at that. Okay. Oh, here we go. They're all coming in now. Stockport, a bid for him. That's fine. Reading. Swindon. I'm, I'm honestly 150 grand for me. Division two, Division two club. I'll take it. He's gone to Swindon. What league are Swindon in? They're in Division two. Surprise, surprise. They must have offered him more money. And we'll have a look at his contract now and see how much he went for, or how much he's getting a week. Should I say? Sorry. Um. Oh no, he's getting less. That's weird. Oh god. Um. Oh no. He's my keeper. I c no. He need actually needs to sign a new contract with me. I've only just bloody realised that. He's my only bloody keeper. Uh, yeah. Right, so he's gone. So that gives us 170 grand to play with here. <sighs> Do I go for the... I haven't got enough for the keeper, have I? It's going to... Oh god, that was what they were after last time. Can you believe that? I don't think we're going to have enough money to do this. Right, look how tired these players are now. O'Kane, oh, Simpson. Right, O'Kane's oh, fine because I've got Strachan. Um, Simpson is understandable. Um, Brett or Marad. I can put Reed back in. That's fine. He's experienced. And who's the other one? Ormerod. Ormerod, I'm going to give Fenton a go. So it actually hasn't tur it's turned out okay. To sort of give these guys a bit of a run in the team. There we go, Richie Wellens with the goal. Had to take him off. He was on 57% last game. I don't know why. Um, take any victory here. Just need to get a try and get a win away from home. If we're planning on going up, we need to win away games. It's all well and good saying just to win your home, but you've got to get the odd away wins. I mean, we've managed to beat Huddersfield away. Which was brilliant. Oh, goodness me. 
Yeah. I mean, at the minute, it's three out of three. If it stays the same. And then play Rex the next two days. What the hell? A two day layover. This is this is going to be horrific. This is not going to be good, you know. Come on, get a goal. Get a goal now. Come on. Shit. Okay, I'll, yeah, I'll draw away from home. We'll, you know, we'll take that. Um, yeah, not bad. Anyway, we're, we're top of the league. I can't moan at that start. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Please remember to hit that subscribe button. You guys have been amazing uh, so far. Um, and leave a like, obviously, for the Blackpool gameplay. I'll see you guys later.